How long do you typically spend on doing the presentation for your service of worship every week? 30 minutes, an hour, maybe longer? Well, however you do it, I'm sure it works well for you. But I can show you how you can do it using PowerPoint in less than 15 minutes from start to finish. Since I want to get this video done in about 10 minutes, I want to get started showing you how I do my church's service of worship every week. I have an add-in called PowerPoint, or, uh, sorry, I have an add-in for PowerPoint called Impress. And uh, everything I'm going to show you today can be totally done with the free version of the software. The first thing I do is load a template. I try to use a different template every week. The templates that I like to use have motion backgrounds on them. However, there are dozens of other templates that you can download for free that don't have motion backgrounds if you don't care about that. The Impress website offers many different templates for free uh, for download for, for various purposes. The template I'm using is one that I just created called Rotating Slashes. Then I want to load up the music, of course. The music I get in, is in the format uh, of the bulletin that our pastor gives me each week for the purposes of creating the presentation. The music format comes from CCLI Song Select. For the most part, you're just copying this directly. As you can see, the first song being selected has a title at the top, uh, the verses, and the copyright information at the bottom. So I select the entire first song and, and from title to the copyright information, copy it to the clipboard. Then I go to PowerPoint and the Impress tab, and I click on the Transfer button. The first thing that comes up is the uh, copyright information that goes in the footer text. And then I click OK. The first song is now done. Now I'm going to go back to the music and copy the second song. All right. And I go back to PowerPoint and click the transfer button once again. Click OK on the footer dialog. And that song is done. Then I go back to the music again, copy the third song, go to PowerPoint, click the transfer button, click OK on the footer text, and the third song is now done. And for the last song, go select the fourth song from the title to the copyright, copy the text, and in PowerPoint, click Transfer one more time. All right, now I'll just confirm that this was the last song. I can delete, yep, uh, it is. I can delete the template slides. So I'm going to select those and just delete them. All right, uh, so now we have all the music for the service of worship. So let me run that so you can see what it looks like. Of course, when I run it, it shows up on a different screen. So let me go into the slideshow and change the screen so it shows up on this screen so you can see it. Of course, I have to select the correct monitor. There it is. All right. So this is what it looks like. It has a motion background. Truth be told, I am still working on this template, so the motion background isn't exactly what I want it to look like, but you get the idea of what it will look like. So that is all my music slides. Now I will load all my static slides that do not change from week to week. 
then I will copy the first slide of that static PowerPoint and paste it in the very first slot here. And uh, that has a link to the announcements of an upcoming video explaining how that is done in the coming days. Then I will copy the slide that goes just prior to the sermon. Now I'm not doing the slide for the sermon this week since we are having a special guest speaker and I will not get those sermon notes. Then I will copy the last few slides. All right. And um, using my mouse, I'll move the, those to the bottom of the PowerPoint. Then I will show you how I do the in-service announcements. For the announcements, what I do is use another PowerPoint template. So I will open up another instance of PowerPoint and load the template that I use for that. I've been using the template called Blue Line Push for the announcements. So I just have to find that. It'll, it'll load that template up. Once it loads up, I'll go to the Impress Add-in tab and click the Transfer button again and look for and select uh, the announcements document. Once I click OK, it loads and up and creates the slides for me. Now I just have to select and copy these announcements over to my primary presentation and go to the bottom of the presentation and because they go at the bottom of the presentation. And then I right click and I paste using the keep source formatting button. All right. Uh, I keep this slide around just for the cross, actually. What I'm going to do is copy this cross and paste it on the first announcement slide. Then delete the slide it came on. Uh, then I want to copy the animation from the, one of the other artifacts on the page and paste it right on the cross. Now that the announcements are finished, what I want to happen is to put a new link to the announcements on this slide. This spot here is a broken link, so I will delete it. Then I will tra traverse to the slide I want to link to and click and drag that slide onto this slide. Then I will need to do the same to the bottom of the announcements to link back to the first slide of the last song. I'll drag that over onto this slide place and format it in the proper way. Then I'll add a little entrance effect for this and make sure that it all shows up after the animations on the slide. Then I'll go up to the slide that links to the announcements and do the same exact thing for the entrance on that, on that one, on the entrance effect on that one. So I'll show you how this works. We are on the right monitor, so I just need to click Run from here. If I click on the next button, it moves directly to the song for those times when the sermon runs long and we decide to skip the announcements. But if we go back and click on the link to the announcements, it brings us right to the announcements that you saw were put at the bottom of the presentation. Now I'll just zoom through the announcements quick as you get the idea of how this works. Then the last slide of the announcements, as, as you saw, we added a link to the first slide of the last song. We click that and there we have it. That is pretty much it. This is a presentation for the service of worship and it's completely done in less than 10 minutes, right in front of your eyes, so to speak. Again, you can download the Impress add-in software to do the same thing. 
Everything that I did in this video can be done using the free version of the software. Also, the templates on the Impress Add-in we website are completely free for you to download and use, of course. Please feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment or a question on the video if you have one. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been a help.